Hey, what's up, guys? I've got another um, Steelbook unboxing for you. This is one um, I hadn't planned on really getting. Well, I, 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 I told myself if I'm at Target and it's there, I'll buy it. Because this is uh, several days after release day when I'm actually doing this now. And um, I just told myself it's not a movie I necessarily really wanted. I've heard it's okay. It's not a bad film. But I don't need to collect all these DC Steelbooks. And I'll just make it. If it's there, I'll buy it. And I was at the store today and just doing some shopping and I happened to go over there. I looked, checked in the regular section and it wasn't there. And I thought, well, it's not here. And then I was up at the checkouts and there were a couple up there, so I grabbed it. So I figured what the heck, may as well get it. Um, and this is the DC Universe animated film, Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. And it's uh, rated R again. This is like the third or fourth R-rated film that they've done, which is pretty cool, I think. And it is, um, now, well, I mean, it's compared to the Suicide Squad from the, the, the movie came out a couple years ago. Um, it's got, what the fuck's his name? Death something. I already forgot. Deadshot. Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, and Harley Quinn. But I don't know who these two are. And then there's another person, too, I think. Emma Frost or something? That's not right. Killer Frost. Emma Frost is, um, uh, X-Men or Marvel. But uh, Copperhead, I'm assuming that's Copperhead. And then this guy, who is the Bronze Tiger? Or is that? I'm assuming that's the Bronze Tiger. I don't know. But they're all bad guys. Anyway, this says, It's batter up at Belle Reve, Reve, Reve. I don't know what the hell to say that. That's like Louisiana or something. And that can only mean that Amanda Waller the penitentiary's cold and calculating warden has a mission only the damned will take on. It's time to unleash Task Force, at Task Force X again. Stacked with seasoned vets such as Deadshot, Killer Frost, Kepper Boring, and Harley Quinn. These crafty criminals are joined by newcomers Copperhead and the martial arts master Bronze Tiger. The target being a mystical object so powerful they're willing to risk their own lives to steal it, there's sure to be a collision of chaos, gunfire, and attitudes. So get packed for a raging road trip with the Suicide Squad. Cool beans. Special features are Outback Rogue, Captain Boomerang, Nice Shot Floyd, the greatest marksman in the DCU, the power of plot devices, MacGuffins, and red herrings, and a sneak peek at the next one, the Death of Superman, which I'm looking forward to getting. It's a cool storyline. And, um... And that's the credits right there. And then, of course, it's Movies Anywhere and all that. So, looks cool. The uh, image on the front looks okay. You know, it's got the, the group shot here. It's not focusing. There we go. I don't see a spine slash, but... And I learned from that uh, greatest uh, showman one, which just was under this, this little wrapping or whatever. Oops, shit. I did not care for the... Um, Live action suicide squad, suicide squad film that came out in 2016, I think. I'm not even sure now. With um, Margot Robbie and Will Smith. The best part about that film was Margot Robbie. And even that got a little grating after a while. I thought Jared Leto as the Joker was kind of... I guess it was an interesting take, I suppose. It was, you know, I didn't hate it, but I was not really in love with it either. And if I'm being honest, Will Smith's dead shot, I could never fucking take seriously because Will Smith... It's just not a bad guy, and the character is supposed to be a bad guy, and they gave him, like, a backstory that he was, like, not a bad... I don't know. I don't like it as much. But, um... I don't see a spine slash, so that's cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking... It's super glossy, and I don't see any dents or scratches or anything, except the ones I'm gonna end up making here. Back heart looks cool. It's got all the characters on it. Where's that, um... Frost, or, I keep saying Emma Frost. It's Killer Frost. I don't see Killer Frost anywhere. So it must not be a main character or anything. Well, hold on. Let me get the code out of here. And there's also... What the, hold on. This is a... Your opinion matters to Warner Brothers. Just go to the list to have your voice heard about how Sue scored, scored, held a page, survey closes... I guess that's just a survey, so if you guys want to fill that out, if you've seen the film, I mean, I don't know, I don't give a shit. 
and then just the plain disc. They, I think their discs always look the same. The Blu-ray and the DVD pretty much look exactly the same, except the DVD is slightly lighter or something. That's the Blu-ray. And there's the DVD. And it's a picture, it looks like, of the, um, the prison or something. Get out of hell free. Get out of hell free card. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I will take it. And then, of course, I always add this because I like having the information if I want it. I know some people put the, the card like in the in the case when I when I put it in the case, but that's all right. I'm babbling now. Where do I? There we go. So, yeah. I have a feeling this will end up being better than the live-action one, just because it'll be closer to the comics or something. Or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around for more unboxings and all that kind of shit. So, thank you for watching, and see you later. Bye.